What's up guys, Kyle here again and today we're going to take a look at this. The new Maxon Custom Shop Horton Modified OD9. Let's check it out. All right, guys, what's up? Hope everybody's doing great out there today. We're going to do a real quick overview of the new Maxon Custom Shop Port and Modified OD9. That's a fucking mouthful. Anyways, uh, I bought this pedal pretty much as soon as uh, it was announced. I got one of the first 100. I've never purchased a Fortin product before, an actual Fortin product, or, or really used any of them. So I kind of figured, hey, I'd jump in, give this thing a try, and, and see how I like it. Right now, I have my dual rectifier multi-watt and my JMP2203 setup so we can mess with a couple different settings on the pedal and see how it reacts. That, what you guys j literally just saw, was the first time I have turned that pedal on. It has a lot of output, a lot of output. You heard... That's the dual rectifier. That's with no pedal, obviously. This is with the pedal engaged. It's got a crazy amount of output. That's, that's a lot. Yeah, it immediately kicks the dual rectifier into metal territory uh, with a mid-gain tone uh, bass on the amp. So that's pretty cool. Let's uh, kick it on, mess with the settings over here a little bit, and see what kind of tones we can get out of this. Thing. So first impressions, um, it tightens up a lot. It tightens up that low end a lot. That's pretty damn punchy for a dual rectifier. That sounds good. That's your stock sound, so obviously it's a little looser. Listen to that jump and output, that's huge. All right, I guess I can play a rectifier in Bushido code now. That's impressive. Seems to have a nice growl uh, to the voicing when you remove the, or dial some level out, it seems to dial some of the tightness out of the boost a little bit too. Or maybe that's just, you know, perceived based on there being a little less output, but yeah, with that, with that send fully up, that sounds good. That sounds great. So 
lowering the level and introducing some gain from the actual drive of the pedal uh, kind of almost changes the voicing a little bit and it sounds good. It gives it more, almost more of a guttural feel. Okay, overall, impressed so far. That sounds good on the rectifier, which is typically a harder amp to tighten up. Let's put it kind of at stock settings. I have just a regular TS9 up here. Uh, I know the OD9 and the TS9 are different. I've never really gone down that rabbit hole to know all the differences, but that's, a, that's your standard tube screamer. That's what everybody kind of compares, you know, a bass to. So let's, uh, let's kick on the TS9 and hear how that sounds versus the OD9. TS9. OD9. Guys, holy sh**. That sounds killer. I did not think there would be that much of a difference between the two. I'm not a person who buys into hype, which is one reason why I've never bought into Fortin products. Uh, no offense to Mike Fortin or anything, but there's always a ton of hype behind them. Um, and the price is just skyrocket on stuff as soon as it comes out. So I'm just, you know me, I'm kind of uh, a little hesitant to spend money on things that I can't try out first and they don't pop up often. This is the first Fortin thing that I've ever bought. And Dude, I'm impressed. I am impressed with how this thing sounds. I don't know what he did to it. It could be very simple modifications. A lot of people seem to think that he changed like one or two values and that's it. But whatever he did, it sounds awesome. One negative I'm noticing with the increased output of the pedal, you're getting increased noise in the signal. But I mean, that's, that's pretty much bound to happen. So uh, if you have a gate before or after, you know, I put my gates before my drives because I like the sensitivity that it gives when you're not sending a boosted pedal through the gate. Um, so I incur that penalty of a little extra noise in my signal. If you have your boost after the fact, then that really won't affect you. That sounds killer. Uh, let's go over to the JMP. All right, so we're on the 2203, no boost engage. All right, OD9 engaged. That adds a lot of output. Um, it sounds really good on the, on the 2203 for sure. I'm liking that. Let's uh, put some gain on the pedal. Really crank it up there. Turn the preamp gain on the 2203 up. That typically tends to fatten and mud the amp up a little bit, so I try to keep it a little lower. But we'll turn it up and see how the pedal kind of tightens that up.
Sounds awesome, guys. I don't know, man. This pedal's really impressing me. Sweet. So, uh, Again, let's compare it to a regular TS9. This is the amp no boost. That's a mid gain tone all day. That's the weakest chug. So now we got the TS9, regular TS9 engaged. Sounds good, but you know, still just not near enough output to get the saturation that uh, I would typically want. Yeah, it's got a ton of push to it, guys. I'd be really curious to see how it does with like a 5150 style amp that already has a lot of saturation. Even the, the rectifier, it pushed that into uh, uh, heavy saturation on its own. So uh, one thing Jason Frankhauser mentioned to me, try it on like a plexi style amp and use the actual gain of the pedal to get it kind of that cranked plexi sound. So we're gonna put it in the low input of my 2203 and then kind of use the gain from the pedal in order to get our uh, actual uh, gain clipping, whatever, and see how that sounds. Yeah, we're pretty much clean. We are clean. Let's engage the pedal. Okay, so that's what to send fully up. Let's pull this let's pull the level down. Put some gain on. Sounds pretty good. That sounds awesome. We really got the gain crank now. Yep, yep, this pedal's a winner. I'm kind of pissed because I bought it thinking I would try it and use it in a few videos and sell it, but I gotta say that this is probably gonna stick around. We gotta see how it does on the Spawn and the uh, 5150 Stealth first and uh, maybe the Badlander too. I'm gonna put it up on the display board for my upcoming demos and we'll use it on a few different amps and hear how it sounds, but yeah. Tons of output, it's clear. Uh, it's got a, almost like a metallic edge to the tone. Um, makes your palm mutes a little bit more clanky, a little bit more percussive, and a little bit more modern feeling. Um, it has a nice, the pedal has a nice growl to it. I'm really happy with it. Uh, they did a good job. Horton did a good job, whatever he did to it. I don't care if you modded one component or not. It sounds good, whatever he did, sounds great. So yeah, hopefully this demo was helpful for you guys. Like I said, I'm gonna put it up on the display board. We'll put it through some more amps in, the, uh, in my upcoming demos in the near future and uh, see how it stacks up versus some other stuff. Thanks for checking this out. Kyle here again. We'll see you guys next time.